Hi guys, it's Mark Zikri, Mr. Sci-Fi, also known as Mark Zikri of Space Command. And I'm here um, on my trip to England pitching shows and miniseries and all sorts of stuff. Um, it's 11 p.m. here in Hampstead, Hampstead where Charles Chilton lived, who wrote The Wonderful Journey Into Space, which is a great radio show that I highly recommend. And this is the accompanying, one of the three accompanying novels he wrote, because back then, it, if it was on the radio, it was on the radio, and to be able to have a copy of it, you might want to buy a novel that was, you know, the version of it that you could actually own and read and revisit those wonderful stories. So, um, because we're talking the 1950s. But, <laughs> so, but it was a very, very good day. Uh, we met with executives of Channel 4. Lord Peter Hain came with us to that meeting because that's the uh, miniseries Subversive that is based on a memoir about his family um, opposing apartheid in South Africa and then the UK. And Peter, of course, became um, a worldwide peace activist. He's in the House of Lords, has been in Parliament for many years. It was a very good meeting. And, uh, you know, we're uh, going to be meeting with others. We met with Entertainment One today. My friend Noel Hedge is there. And um, this is how TV works. You you meet people, you build um, uh, basically um, uh, financial infrastructures and, and so forth. Uh, or, <laughs> or you do things my way, where uh, you reach out to your fans and they give you the money and you shoot Space Command, uh, which we're also pitching, by the way. But, um, but we're, not, we're not waiting to hear. We're not waiting to be stopped. Um, Many of you know that we are planning to shoot Hour 4 of Space Command. We've put out the first hour to our backers and our investors. We're also um, releasing those on Mr. Sci-Fi as webisodes over the next few weeks. You can watch the first three that we've posted so far. But, uh, but the great news is that we're ramping up to shoot Hour 4 of the 12-hour season. We're, we're planning to shoot all 12 hours this year. Uh, plus the six pilots of the Showrunners Network, plus whatever else occurs to us. Uh, and um, uh, so, to that end, we, we have to raise about $200,000, which sounds like a lot of money, but compared to what the network spend, it's, you know, uh, catering fees. So my plan is, we've launched the Kickstarter campaign, and the goal is to clear at least $100,000. Uh, we'd, we'd probably need to take in about 120000 because they take fees and all that sort, sort of stuff. And... Um, but if we raise 100000 from Kickstarter and then sell investment shares at $7,500 each to the tune of about hundred grand, we can roll camera and we can have all four hours of Space Command, the first four hours, in the can. And, and as I've said before, something is not real. It does not exist until you shoot it. Once you shoot it, then it may take a while to get it done, but it's all post-production challenges. It's all of visual effects and color correction and sound design and sound mixing, etc. And editing, of course. But those are all uh, simply a matter of logistics and time and money, but the thing exists because you've shot it. And so, um, so this is why I'm so um, eager to get that fourth hour shot. Uh, with, it has James Hong and John Hennigan and, and um, 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 you know, Farhan Tahir and many of, and our, and our regular cast as well. And then beyond that, we're uh, in post-production on the, um, on the audio play prequel with Mike Harney and Doug Jones and Robert Picardo and Mira Furlan and, he, and uh, Bill Mumy. And, uh, and, and uh, Dave Edison has just started creating the animatic that, that marries the, the wonderful um, graphic novel illustrations by Tahani Farr with the audio play so it's, you can actually watch it as a motion comic. It's really cool. So, um, so we've launched the campaign. So if you click down there, you can click through to the Kickstarter campaign. You can pledge however much you want to pledge, the more the better. Um, we're off to a good start, but I really want to have this in hand so we can roll camera. Right now, the futuristic car is built, being built, the studio has reopened, the uh, hyper alien hibernation ship is being built, the two eight-foot-tall creatures are being built. It's quite wonderful. And uh, so, so, uh, so click there. Um, there's also information on how to buy Space Command shares. Um, we have, we have, again, these are the two ways we're raising money. There's, there's no real other way at this point. We, uh, we, our plan is to pitch it to the networks and VOD platforms. That's what we've been doing ongoingly. It's just about reaching critical mass uh, with them. It's, it's fascinating because all, it's such an alpha dog world. Um, TV series, making network and, and studio shows, because they have to perceive you as being real, as being worth their time, worth their attention, worth saying yes to. 
And uh, the more we create, the more of a, we have a fan base. Many of you may recall that The Expanse, which is a very good show, uh, was canceled after three years by Sci-Fi in their infinite um, stupidity. And then the fans uh, had an airplane fly over Amazon headquarters with a banner saying, renew the Expanse. And Jeff Bezos, of course, the richest man in the world, is, uh, is a big science fiction fan. So he said yes, and now you get two more seasons of The Expanse. So um, the fans are really important. The fans um, make things happen. They have power. And I knew that when I was um, 10 years old and picketing outside NBC so we'd get a third season of Star Trek. And, uh, and we did. And that was really the first time that the fans mounted a campaign and the audience you know, was more powerful than the network. The audience convinced the network to renew the show. That was a turning point that has led to everything since. And uh, so, uh, subscribe to Mr. Sci-Fi if you haven't. Ding the little bell so you'll be alerted of, of, of more of these uh, videos. I'm going to be talking more about Picard. I'm going to be talking about uh, the, 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 all sorts of stuff, the Golden Compass, uh, you name it. Whatever is of interest to you and to me, continuing with the, uh, the history of science fiction that I've been doing. I'm going to be continuing with all manner of things. I'll be reading my first short story that I wrote when I was 18, my first sale. Uh, I'll be reading that on Mr. Sci-Fi. It's because it's every bit as timely now and as relevant now as when I first wrote it. Additionally, I'm going to be sharing with you um, the audio play I wrote when I was 18 that aired on KPFK that was a satire of science fiction conventions and um, science fiction movies and TV shows. And... Um, Tons of stuff to talk about, tons of stuff to share. Uh, Glenn Mazzara, my friend who was the showrunner on Walking Dead, suggested that I create the Mr. Sci-Fi channel, and I have thanked him uh, greatly because it's been wonderful to do and to, to meet the fans and to have your input. So that's about it for now. Uh, we're going to be checking in often as the campaign conti continues. If you have questions, feel free to email me at marksatcreategmail.com. If you want to buy shares, that's the way to do it too, or you can call me at 323 Three six three one two five nine. Just remember, I'm in England for the next few days, so there is a time difference between America and England. So I don't particularly want to talk to anyone at three in the morning. But um, but it's an amazing time, and I'm very glad to be here. I feel part of the continuum of science fiction. I mean, it's fascinating. I'm so glad that there's radio and television because this wonderful radio play, this wonderful radio series, which is one of my favorites. Uh, you know, yeah, I I can listen to it now, even though it was recorded over 60 years ago, same with The Twilight Zone, same with Star Trek, 50 years on. And, uh, you know, I'm so glad that we have uh, the technology now that allows us to uh, preserve these like, like insects in amber and, um, and revisit them and watch them again. So that's it for now. Talk to you soon. And, uh, and again, thanks for everything. None of this would be possible without you. Bye, guys.